HVCC has changed forever how we handle appraisals in our industry, and some of the unintended consequences continue to haunt us. No new appraisers are getting into business, appraisers are doing more work for less pay, and now Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac grade every single appraisal. Hi, I'm Kevin Kostoff. Derek Hanley is on vacation this week, so it's just me, Kostoff and Company with Nova Home Loans, providing you with current mortgage lending news to stay on top of the industry. Derek is on a beach right now, and I can't get that mental picture out of my head. So, now you get to share it too. Late last week, we uh, first purchase appraisal came in that was lower than the contracted price uh, for the first time in a long time that we've seen that. It was not low by just a little bit either. It was low by $40,000. When we reached out to the buyer's agent to discuss the options, we asked if the appraiser used all the listing agent's comparables. The buyer's agent replied that she didn't think the listing agent even met with the appraiser. This is a problem right off the bat, as you're just hoping that the appraiser is going to see the same comparables someone else did. After further discussion with the buyer's agent, in reviewing what we could do on the loan side of things, the agent determined, announcing with great flair, I might add, that we just need to order a second appraisal. While this may sound like an okay option, it is not allowed by the Home Valuation Code of Conduct, or HBCC. Just because we don't agree with the value is not grounds for ordering a second appraisal. This situation just highlighted to us the lack of understanding of the current appraisal environment. In May of 2009, we had the implementation of HVCC, which was the catalyst to today's appraisal process. In many ways, it's a mere image of the VA process. Ironically, we still have folks in the industry recommending that sellers not accept a VA contract because of appraisal concerns, but they are identical. The concept is to take any undue influence to an appraisal, making it as unbiased as possible. But the biggest changes were behind the scenes that few folks know about or have taken the time to even learn about. Many folks saw higher prices and longer turn times for appraisals. Then hit the refi boom last year. The wheels all but came off this system. At the peak of it last year, we had four week turn times and up charges of $200 to $300 were not uncommon. The unintended consequences are even more dramatic. Appraisers are now leaving the industry in droves, and no new appraisers are coming into the industry. Less pay, more work. All of it has created today's arguably broken appraisal process. Adding to this appraiser's work is being that it's being scrutinized more than ever. Appraisals are uploaded directly to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and essentially, they're grading their appraisals, thus watching for a situation like the one I outlined earlier looking for any new appraisals on the same property. While unlike VA and FHA, the appraisal is not necessarily tied to the property with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, but they definitely see it and they definitely know when the second one's been done. And not unlike the uh, scrutiny I received from Sister Agnes Therese when I missed a week of class, they just don't have the rulers to smack her on the head like I had. Well, never fear, the government is here to fix the problem. You know, the one that created HVCC, the Board of Governors at the Federal Reserve, came up with two options to fix our issues. Number one, appraisers can cross state lines now and they will offer waivers to those appraisals if they do not have the current state licensing. Number two, they will allow temporary waivers with regards to licensing in states where certain criteria are met. That's right. The feds are waiving the licensing and making exceptions to allow appraisers to do appraisals where they aren't qualified. That's their solution. I can't make this stuff up. As funny as it is, it's just kind of sad. Our federal government is actively working on waiving appraisal licensing as a solution to an expensive and overly burdensome appraiser code of conduct that caused the problem to begin with rather than just enforcing the laws that we already had. Bottom line, our appraisal system was created by bureaucrats who really have no idea how the real estate industry works to say that they did something to fix a problem where there really were ample rules already in place to handle it. Really, court cases are a lot splashier and newsworthy and that way they have new legislation, uh, much more so than just 
using the rules that were already in place. The HBCC is here to stay for a while. If you have a chance to take an appraisal class or even the next time you meet an appraiser at one of your listings to give them your comparables, ask them about HVCC and how it impacts all of us. Thanks for watching our video. We hope this information has helped. If it is, please subscribe for more videos just like this one to keep you up to date with mortgage lending news. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. All of the information is listed below. Until next time, Kevin with Derek on the Beach, checking out.